Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to Tips and Tricks. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys a cool tip for effect tricks. Alright, so um, we are essentially going to go through effect tricks and how to set up um, effect tricks and tie it into your MIDI keyboard so that we can create multiple patterns and multiple instances for your melody or chord or whatever the case may be so that it's not cons it's not always consistent it's always changing it's always modular and it's always interesting alright so let's get on with it uh, I pre-made something here uh, just a bunch of chords that we're gonna mess around with just the harmer synth that I came up with and we're gonna have it on this setting as well as this setting alright and let's just take out the bass line because that's not really important right now even though it sounds good we're gonna leave it out. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is tie it into, uh, tie in your MIDI keyboard to Effectrix. So we're gonna add MIDI out. Doesn't play anything. It just reads MIDI, and sends it a whole bunch of places. We're gonna make port number one, and we're gonna go to our Effectrix over here, and we're gonna tie this to number one, just like so. So now they read each other, but it's only going to read when you have it enabled. See, I have it enabled here. If I take it off, you're not going to hear anything, although I am pressing keys. You're not going to see it, so make sure you have it enabled so that you can see your patterns. And there you go. I can play like this. So if I hit play, it will just, you know, be in sync with my song. See that? But I can also play like this and just sync it every time I hit it. See that? So every time I hit a key. Alright, so you can choose which um, mode it suits you, but I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna have the trigger by MIDI off, and I'm just gonna be switching keys, just like so, because I want it to be in time. Alright, according to my patterns. Alright, so I have four patterns here. One in C, and then uh, C sharp, D and then D sharp. Okay, so four patterns and we are going to use them. I'm essentially just using loops, lots of loops, uh, scratch loops, reverses, and uh, some tone delays. Oh, sorry, uh, some stutters, not tone delays. Uh, crush, filter, you know, some good stuff. All right, so here we go. We are going to go and right click the piano roll on MIDI. And we're gonna draw some stuff. So, the good thing to do is switch things up. So I'm gonna put this on it's easier to read. There we go. And we're gonna have the first bit play there. So let's see how that works. Pretty cool. And you don't have to necessarily have it, you know, sustained. Like, so you can have it as a little tick because it's just an on off button, toggle button. So you don't really need to hold on to it. All right. So we're going to. Cool. I'm going to do that. Now we need to look at this to make sure everything's good. Oh, that's so cool. So we're going to make something really long here. Um, let's do this. And then on the next one, we'll do this. Um, and then the next one, we'll do this. But cut it short. And then halfway through that, we go to the last one. And then we're going to go fast. Go faster and faster. Try that one. Let's try that last one, and then come back here, oops, and then the last one will do the kind of, yeah, we'll do that. Alright, there we go. Okay, so, now we are going to go to, now, uh, my playlist and lay that down, 
And you notice it's very long, so what we're going to do is going to split this. Boink! And we can po put this in a different uh, pattern here, and then lay it out like this, and loop this. Right? So, now, we got to play from the playlist. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go into effects to see what's happening. Notice it's on D sharp. Switches. Pretty cool stuff. So it's always changing, always modular, which is perfect, right? So let's go see how it sounds. Oops. With the other setting. Lots of pauses. Nice. It's always changing, which is perfect, right? So that's pretty much it for this tip and trick. I hope you create multiple patterns for effect tricks. Don't just keep it on one and leave it looping. You know, be different. Be creative. And let the music ride. All right, guys. I'm Dandy from Music Marketing TV. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!